Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be unboxing this thing. This is the MH-47E Chinook by Revel. So on the front of the box you can see we got some really really nice box art. It looks like it's been painted and I quite like that. So there's an Apache in the background up here and the main Chinook is there. It, it's in 170 seconds ago. It has 209 parts and comes in two liveries the American one and the British one. It is a level 4, but Revel levels are a bit weird. They're only based on the amount of parts you've got. At the top, you've got the Revel logo, but I just can't quite bring the box around to show you. At the top, you've got the logo again and the box art again and the same information you've got in the front corner on the back back you've got all the different paints you'll need here along the bottom um, safe multilingual safety information and uh, pictures of the finished model here it also has pictures of the sprue and um, a barcode as well for the Revel website. I'm not too sure what that's for. Um, I also I I see there's quite actually quite a lot of paints, more than I first thought there would be. So moving on to the side, it's the same as well, on both sides, I think. Yeah, it is. So now you just want to see me get into the box. Now, where's my knife? I'm gonna cut open the box with a knife. Like that. Inside the box, we have a whole host of parts, instruction booklet, and quite possibly some details hidden. Yep. Here they are, deco sheet. So first we're going to take a look at the instructions, like usual. And then we'll look at what else it came with. So first off you've got the safety information at the bottom, and the picture of the finished model. More uh, just safety information. Uh, multilingual, all, all that sort of stuff. It's just safety information like they normally do. I quite like this, this because this is in colour and like some of the older Revel kits that I've had and made. Here's their uh, absolutely stupid painting system. Um, I don't see why they can't just write the numbers of the paints in the right page. And here is a sprue map as well at the top there and uh, telling you how to um, mix the paints so on the first page it has clear instructions which is always nice so here you're assembling the cockpit it looks like and the fuselage um, I still absolutely hate this and then you've got putting the windows and that, and then you put it all together. Now it's just extra detail in the cockpit. Um, still, there's so much detail to this. It looks like the refueling jack that uh, you can that you can put in. Um, and then you've also, of course got more detail. So much detail, like I said, and um, here's where you do the rotor blades. Then it has really clear in color painting instructions on multiple pages and the decal instructions as well. And then there's more instructions here as well. Now I'm going to do whatever this thing is. So it came with this little another booklet. It just looks like extra safety information. 
Okay, now I'm moving on to the decals. So for me, these look really high quality. Um, yeah, I don't see much wrong with them. There's, I see a few opportunities for silver ring. Um, and then of course there's the US Army ones and the Royal Air Force ones. Okay, so they are really high quality decals. Next, we're moving on to all these parts. There are quite a lot of them. Let me just cut the bag open. There we go. Lovely. So they're quite an unusual colour to be honest. Normally if I do have a sprue here, I do. Normally parts I get are this colour, so it's quite a distinct difference. Um these are I don't see much flash on first first looks, but they are there's a lot of detail. I, I there's so much detail in this. Um I yeah, at the moment I don't see much flash. There's a little bit there, but I don't think the camera can pick up on that. Um, and yeah, of course, there's bits and bits around the sprue. Sorry, my dog's shaking in the background. Now, looking closer, I don't know if you can see there's a flash on the sprue and a little bit of flash on the rotor blades here. I don't think the camera's picking that up, though. Um, yeah, other than that, it all seems really good. And here, what we have, it looks like all the fuselage parts. Yep, there doesn't doesn't seem to be much flash here either. There's some, like if you look here, there's some there. The camera's still not picking up though. Um, yeah, there's pretty good. There's more flash on that one than the other one though. On here, it looks like we've got most of the detail parts, and they they actually seem to have scratches all over them that, that's really bad I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up or not but there seems to be scratches all over it which isn't very good and quite disappointing actually okay oh and one of the bits has fallen off come on it looks like we've got some clear parts here as well. Let's have a look at these, see if they're any better than the any better than the other ones. If I can get these out. Clear parts look good. I'm not seeing many scratches. Apart from here, whatever's happened here. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. Or not. It honestly does flash as well. This isn't looking too good to be honest with you. This is a relatively new kit as well. This costs about £30 on... A, I can't remember where I got it from. It is what it costs about twenty pound. Um, it seems rather good, and um, the box is quite big actually. So if I just get my tiger box from when I did that unboxing a couple of weeks ago, that's the size of the tiger. That's the size of the chinook, and that's not even the full box. It is huge. I don't think you can comprehend 